Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition. Listen, 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 listen. We're just going to dive into it, son. This is the Grizzly designed by Alex Aurora Borealis Knives. It is the Kodiak with a choil. To choil? Not to choil? Stay tuned. We're going to figure it out. It's the same work, tough gear, toughness. Yep, Lord, I stuttered. Same work, tough gear, toughness, same badassery. Let's go, guys. Come on. Yeah. Well, appreciate that, Scab. Listen, here's what I wanted to do with this video, guys. We're going to show a little bit of that toughness that Work Tough Gear is known for. We're going to show using the choil some. Where I'd normally hold a regular grip, I kind of went with the choil just to see the difference. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's comfortable to me. And that's what a choil for me is about. Comfort and control. Strength has jack shit to do with it. I'm still plenty strong. A little older, a little slower, but just as strong as I've ever been. So strength's not there. For me, it's control. A choil has to be properly done, however, for me to enjoy it. I've got weirdo hands. Y'all know I do. So for me, it has to be well done. The forward cant on this knife, in conjunction with the choil, for me, just makes it perfect. Now, you see the sharpness there from Work Tough Gear. I get a lot of comments. It, especially, I've got another video in it. It's the Night Hunter uh, short that's taken off. Every now and then I'll have one taken off and we're looking at a million views coming up soon. But here's the thing. Here's why I brought that up. Somebody will inevitably ask me, man, how do you sharpen? The thing is this with work tough gear. A lot of times when you see those shorts and you see paper cutting or you see bottle cutting or you see whatever cutting, dude, that's the factory edge. That speaks volumes. Now, at the end of this video, we're going to cut paper. I didn't want to open a video with cutting paper. I've got a ton of shorts doing that with this knife. It came in razor sharp. Y'all saw that right off the rip with that ratchet strap and rope. But at the end, we're going to see if it can still cut paper. And then we're going to do a quick strop and redo it. Now, right here, we're just putting some abuse on the edge. Be straight up honest with you. I love this choil. Now, for me, I love it. It's a personal choice. It's comfortable, and again, it's comfortable, and it's control. A lot of times, guys will say, well, that, a knife's too big. or big." I, I get so tired of hearing that. I really do. I like big knives. I can use a big knife. I have worked my whole life to build a skill set with a big knife. That choil lets me do that. Again, it's not strength. I can pull it through whatever. But with that choil, it allows me to pull through with certain control and manipulate it. Let's jump in real quick to this. There was a time in this country where 22 vets a day took their own lives. We talk about it every day. We'll talk about it every day till I'm off the air. Stats are everywhere. They just are. That's why here on this channel, we focus on the number zero. Vets, we love you. You have a place here. Anything over zero is unacceptable. We're trying to raise awareness. We back to blue over here. We support Leo. That, of all my causes, gets the most controversy. And here's the deal, guys. Again, we live in the good old USA. It's a personal choice. I don't ask you to support it. I'm just telling you what I do. The good men and women, that's what I do. All right? How do you do it, Scabber? Well, I don't break the damn law anymore. I used to make a hobby of it. Don't anymore. Finally, finally, you're just saying, thank God, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So, this right here, I do this a ton. Now, I swap grips to see the comfort level, swap grips to see how it works. And again, back just... One more word on that sharpness. The damn things are always so sharp when you do stuff like this, or I find when I do stuff like this, if you don't watch, it'll bite that some bitch clean in half. I mean, it gets a good deep bite. It's always a saber grind uh, with a micro convex cutting edge. Really, really, really conducive to, to slicing, cutting, chopping, whatever. Mr. Vic's got the magic formula. If it's not, if it's not his edge bevels, guys, it's his heat treat. If it's not that, it's the handle. I'm telling you, Vic Lynn has this thing down to a science. Now, this knife was designed by Alex from Aurora Borealis Knives. I absolutely adore Alex's designs. Why? Because it looks like a damn knife. I'll be 100% honest with you. Everything about this says knife, right? He makes them practical. The beauty is in the simplicity. He makes sure everything is lined up. He owns this design. And when I say that, I mean he has mastered this design. And I'll say this, the design lends to being able to use a big knife for certain tasks. Now, it comes with a Kydex sheath. 
Uh, it's Molly compatible. It has four hooks on it, so you can carry, I don't, bandolier style. I don't know what y'all, how y'all call that, but you can do whatever. If you would, guys, I'm going to pull some stats on this knife. Just watch, just watch the knife work. That's a pressure treated four by four of what's left of one. So let's dive in. One of the things that I love about the knife is the blade width. The blade width at its widest point is two and a quarter inches. That's the blade width. The thickness on this knife is a quarter inch. Here's, here's the thing with that. These are not sharpened pry bars. These are cutting tools. And that is a huge, huge difference in this knife. I believe it's a drop point. We have a blade length of 10 inches. We have a cutting edge of about nine inches. Our handle length, overall handle length, is five and a quarter. Our inner grip is right there, looks like three and seven eighths. But again, the way the knife is designed, I can get a solid four finger grip, have some room to spare. When I choke up, it's insane room. And I tried to show you, we're doing a John Peter stab test here. Here's the thing about this knife. Y'all know what surprised me most about this knife? Was the damn stabbing capabilities. Those are about an inch thick tire tread. Now they're not steel belted. I don't want to give you that illusion. They're not, but they're still a damn inch thick, hard uh, semi-tire tread. We're going to cut down it. Let's do some more measurements. The handle thickness. Now this is a big one. It's sitting right at three quarter, no, that's a lie, Scabber. Come on, son. It's sitting, the handle thickness is seven eighths. The handle width is three quarter at its widest point. So you got a handle that's got plenty of bulk, plenty of beef to it. I'm grabbing it now. It's really, really comfortable. I brought a two by four from work. I wanted to do some flat chops. Now, if you're new here and you go, man, that's not how you chop. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Appreciate the comment. I'm not trying to go for speed here. If I was, I would secure the board and, and blast through it. I'm hitting, if you watch, watch, right here, you're seeing a lot of flat, downward slaps, okay? Just straight down, flat slaps. The other thing that I like about Work Tough Gear, it's a cutting tool, right? But you just saw it right there. It brings enough ass. It's got that forward cant. So when you come down, it's bringing a lot of bump to it. I swing hard, always have. I have a hard swing. That, that's one thing like touch, because people ask me from time to time about tip, uh, tip testing and all that. And here's my here's my standard answer, but it's my truthful answer. That is a touch thing. I am still working on my knife acumen and my knife touch, okay? That's why you don't see me jam at the stump. I'll snap every damn knife I got. I just will. And that doesn't prove shit to me with, with me doing it. Somebody who has that touch, who can do it and really show it, there you go. So I'm not knocking it. Please understand that. I'm just saying for me, it's touch. Overall thoughts on the choil. I love it. I just do, but I like a choil. Now, the one thing about this handle that makes it conducive, it has that forward cant, but it always it also has a little bit of choil right under the blade guard. So you have a slight indention where, where, where my bird finger sits perfectly, and I can wrap that pointer finger in. And I, I'll tell you the truth. A lot of times I'll show or demonstrate like a fencing grip. Now, real quick, 90 degree spine. If you'll just watch right below that board, you can see that duff coming straight off of there. Mr. Vic, again, again, kudos to Work Tough Gear for actually making a true 90 degree spine. Yet, if I do the fencing grip, it's not uncomfortable. I adore this knife, but I adore the Kodiak. We got about a minute left. Listen, guys. I appreciate y'all choosing my channel to watch. God knows I do. I really, really, really do now. There's going to be another video coming out in a couple hours. I know this one's coming out a little late, and I know my raffle video is going to come out late. We are raising money for Donnie B all day. He has some serious health issues. We've got a ton of knives to raffle. I'm going to do a, a quick video or quick as I can showing the knives. I'm going to post it. If you can't watch it tonight, please do that tomorrow. It's very important to me. That being said, Alex, man, I love your designs, dude, and you're an awesome dude. That's the other reason that I don't mind doing a couple videos. I, Alex is just one of those salt-of-the-earth guys. Big land, what more can you say? Awesome, humble man. I can say this. I'm scared. You're not. I'm gone, son. 
Love y'all. The Grizzlies, dope. Grab you one.